150 years after that, the slaves arrived in this land. The oldest slave grave is unknown. The second sanctuary built on the cemetery side of the old Providence Road uh, was built in, a, in the early 1800s, and it had a gallery for servants of the white families. The gallery was so small, a person could not stand upright. It was so cramped as to be uncomfortable, and it was only accessed by a treacherous ladder. It was not particularly conducive to the worship of God. The story goes, told by Mr. Rumpole, that the pastor at the time uh, that the, uh, the considered the construction of a new sanctuary. That sanctuary is the one that we worship in now. That sanctuary, this one, was built by the inspiration and the request of the slaves who desired a larger gallery in which to worship. And so for approximately $2,800, this sanctuary was built, most likely by the black hands who requested it. We have records of elders and deacons of that time. We have records of those who made contributions, both financial and material. We have records of those who made contributions of the furnishings for this sanctuary. But we have no records of those who hewed the beams and made the rubble masonry foundation and cut and planed and hung the clapboard siding and smoothed the pine flooring, roofed and installed their own stairs to the expansive balcony where they would sit on the floor in order to worship God. The building of the sanctuary was, we can be quite sure, not the only church work done in large part by those whose names are forgotten. Their contributions, however unfreely chosen, have benefited Providence Presbyterian Church. They have furthered her mission, they have given her staying power, and they have left her with a lovely place of worship. Today, in humble gratitude and holy remembrance, we say the names of those servants long forgotten. We remember and we will not forget their place, their work, their presence, their worship, their historical status as slaves, and their holy status as children of God. We remember, we will not forget. For there is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. For all are one in Christ. We remember and we will not forget. Eighth, Betty, Caroline, Daphne, Elias, Flora, George, Hannah, Isaac, Jack, Leroy, Margaret. Those who say, I love God, but hate their brothers and sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen, cannot love God whom they have not seen. We remember and will not forget. 
Nancy, Oscar, Patsy Ann, Rosinda, Sally, Terza, Van, Wallace, Aaron, Betty Ann, Catherine, David. Who is my neighbor? Am I my brother's keeper? We remember and we will not forget. Elizabeth, Green, Harriet, Iso, Jackson, Levi, Mariah, Peter, Lasara, Sam, Washington, Alec. Is this not the fast I choose, says the Lord, to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thorns of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? We remember and will not forget. Athor, Athlet, Kato, Cyrus, Diana, Alicia, Harry, James, Liza, Marshall, Retta, William. He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. We remember, and we will not forget. Amanda, Ann, Dick, Dinah, Eliza, Elizabeth, Hector, Jane, James, Martha Ann, Rhoda, Samson. I hate, I despise your festivals. And I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. But let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. We remember, and we will not forget. Andrew, Dolly, Elizabeth Jane, Jim, Mary, Richard, Sarah, Andy, Dorcas, Ellen Jane, Jimmy, Lucinda. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and prophets. We remember and we will not forget. Dobby, Ellen Lucinda, Jenny, Lucy, Mary Ann, Robert, Sarah Jane, Emily, Joe, Mary Susan. In this renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all in all. We remember and will not forget. Emma, John, Maddie Ella, Rosanna, Solomon, Joseph, May, Rosinda, Stephen, Josephine, Melissa, Roxy. Justice is torn back, 
and righteousness stands at a distance. For truth stumbles in the public square, and uprightness cannot enter. Truth is lacking, and the Lord saw it, and it displeased him, that there was no justice. We remember, and we will not forget. Johnson. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. We remember, and will not forget. To remember is the first step. To acknowledge the work, the effort, and the presence of all God's children, as many as we can, by name, is a second. Two steps does not a journey make. So may this ritual of acknowledgement and gratitude be a beginning in the beloved journey toward a deep appreciation for one another and a genuine love for all our brothers and sisters fathers and mothers, for we are all one in Christ Jesus, to the glory of God. Amen. Brothers and sisters, go out with joy that you have been fed and healed, securely abiding as branches of the true vine. Go and tell the story of faith that is given to you by the one who never lets you go. Seek out those who abound with sacred questions and be ready to answer a mystery with love. As Jesus entered into human life, his life is still alive in you. The blessing of Almighty God be upon you today and always. Amen.